Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the car. It's a damp but pleasant evening here in Sweden. And I just finished up in the gym and I'm in a great mood. So I thought we could talk a little bit. I wanted to tell you about some early experiences I had working for Apple uh, and some things I learned about project management in the early days. And um, I first started at Apple in 2011, late 2011, on the Safari UI team. And um, I uh, couldn't get a visa to go work in the US right away. So I had to make a pit stop in Ireland for a year. And uh, that meant that I was a remote employee from day one. So um, I couldn't meet my manager or my team face to face, but instead they had to onboard me over the phone or over FaceTime. And uh, it was um, not ideal. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty lost, I remember, and uh, didn't really know a lot about Mac OS programming or um, any of the stuff that they were doing. I just, I was familiar with WebKit because I had worked on WebKit a lot. So um, I had that going for me, but it didn't really matter to me at the time because I also was quite arrogant. So I thought that ah, it's not a big deal. I, what if, so what if I can't, um, be productive. I'll just figure everything out, right? But uh, in, in reality, uh, I found it really hard to become productive. Uh, and I had to go out to visit with my team in the US. So I would fly out from Ireland to the US every couple of months just to hang out with uh, people for a week and sort of try to absorb knowledge uh, and just become part of the team. And every time that I would do that, I would have these sit downs with my manager where um, we would go through the list of bugs that were assigned to me and uh, he would try to figure out why I was not making progress on things. Um, and it was rough. Uh, I remember um, we were working on uh, Mountain Lion or um, Zin as it was called internally, OS Ten Mountain Lion. And uh, I had a bunch of um, issues relating to a responsiveness or like um, spins where, you know, you get the beach ball, which was a big problem for Safari back in those times. And uh, I was not making very good progress on any of them. Uh, and I was sort of try. I would totally procrastinate on most of my assigned issues and then instead sort of find things that were um, maybe kind of related to <laughs> to uh, UI uh, hangs or spins, but not necessarily like the ones that were well known to be commonly occurring. And so we would have these sit downs and uh, he would go through my issue list systematically. And I remember so well, like each of my issues when we sat there in his office, each of the issues they seemed so opaque and impenetrable to me. Um, and what he would do is he would take these issues one by one and then systematically break them down into subtasks. And this was pure magic to me. Uh, he would take something I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out how to do uh, and just break it into four things that seemed like I could probably do those. And... Um, we would spend time like just him doing that for me, breaking my things into subtasks. And that was, um, I don't know, it was fascinating and probably humiliating to me. Although my defense mechanisms were like in full swing. So I'm not sure if I, if I really experienced the humiliation in the moment. Uh, I think maybe it came later, but I, I remember feeling um kind of powerless back then like oh my goodness what have i gotten myself into like can i actually do this job I'm, i mean i'm just procrastinating and then my manager has to uh basically like cut up my spaghetti for me right so i can eat it and uh yeah it was, i had a lot of self-doubt about the whole situation but um i guess over time i sort of got a little bit better at it and um got a bit, uh, I, I eventually moved off of the Safari UI team and into the WebKit team instead, which of course 
uh, was a much better fit for me since I was familiar with WebKit. So um, things sort of straightened themselves out somehow. But I took something away from, from those early days, like that experience of having somebody chop my um, project spaghetti into, into uh, bite-sized chunks. And it was the fact that every big impenetrable opaque problem is just a set of small uh, solvable problems waiting to be chopped up, right? And um, once I understood that, it made so many things that much easier, um, not just in work, but like elsewhere in life as well. And um, people, like even today, I, I use this um, technique all the time. It's, it's a fantastic technique. And um, I've done this for people like I've mentored junior developers myself many times since then and I've done the same thing for them and sort of the the cycle of of life repeats right um, and uh, it's it's an experience I really cherish at this point and uh, people often ask me about when they see me working on Serenity OS they ask me like um how are you able to just take some random thing and just get it done in an hour or in, in two hours or whatever? And there's really that process happening subconsciously where I figure out what I want to do and then um, I just automatically chop it into small tasks that seem like they can be done. Um, and then I sort of go through those one by one and, and even try to turn them into one commit each, ideally. Uh, and I've practiced the m methodology so much that it's become second nature, but uh, I, I definitely don't forget where it came from because I was a very, uh, I was a very chaotic um, young man developer back then. Like uh, I sort of, uh, I got things done, but it, it was very, like it was a big chaos and I was not organized at all, really. Um, I, I just did the bare minimum organizational stuff. And uh, I think I'm really grateful that I ended up working on WebKit at that point in my life. I mean, um, at the point in life when I did. So I started working on WebKit in 2009. And because WebKit had uh, like quite rigorous development processes with like... Um, with Bugzilla and um, a review system and like everybody was reading uh, the code all the time and people were like actively following development and um, we had testing and all, all these kind of things that I was not familiar with from before and uh, it took me time to get acclimated to it but uh, it's sort of I don't know it provided almost like um, <laughs> A programming I don't know I, I don't I don't want to say like a father figure but like some kind of um, ideal to orient myself around and um, that's one of the things that I'm trying to provide for um, all the people that come to Serenity OS like to, to provide sort of um, a very strong structure that um, you can strengthen yourself by working on working within and I think that's been going really well. And um, I wanted to, like now I wanted to also share uh, my own experience with like being really bad at project management and not knowing what to do with like complex tasks that I couldn't see through. So uh, of course, how do you do this, right? Well, as I was saying, the truth is that every every big problem can be chopped into smaller problems. That's almost always the case, um, as far as I know, at least. And uh, it really just takes practice, right? And uh, um, whatever it is that you want to do, I'm sure that you can think of some way to chop it up. Maybe, maybe the pieces are not symmetric, right? But you can at least um, carve off little subtasks that you can do uh, and say, uh, oh, now this thing is done, right? Uh, so that's what I wanted to share today. And uh, I, um, 
it's, it's really interesting. It's funny to think about those early days and and uh, like I, I get a little bit of that like um, that latent humiliation feeling like com coming back to me a little bit like oh man that was that was really um, I felt so bad about myself um, for uh, being in over my head I guess but of course it's <laughs> it's a long time ago now and uh, the the circle of life repeats and it's all good but I super appreciate um, my managers that I've had that have taught me um, just by example how to do this like nobody ever really said oh here's how you do it they just showed me that you can do it and then I just learned from from seeing somebody do it uh, so maybe somebody uh, maybe somebody who's watching this video can uh, pick some of that up from watching me do it sometimes anyway that was that was the topic for the day so thank you very much for hearing me out and uh i'm gonna go and uh maybe make a cup of oatmeal <laughs> so i'll see you all next time bye